about chapters seven to eight in A Single Shot by Linda Sue Park. Uh, this is a Newbery Award winning book, so I hope, I mean, oh, yeah, a medal winning book, so I hope that you enjoy it, okay? Okay, so how do you think that Min was feeling about the emissary, right? Um, and also, um, I wanted to ask you about inlay work. Okay, so, um, inlay work, do you think that um, Kang's idea is a good idea or a bad idea? And also, um, Trier, he was busy draining the clay, right? And so he was rubbing the sediment when, for a reason, um, he, he knew that the clay wasn't ready yet. So why do you think that this happened to him? And have, has this sort of thing happened to you? And also, um, I also wanted to ask you about, I wanted to ask you about um, something else. And it was, it, Min was sort of like a demon inside him, right? He didn't eat, he didn't sleep, he didn't really do anything. He just tried to work. Um, he tried, he worked and worked, right? What do you think is more um, good? Do you think that he should eat at meal times, sleep good, and then he should just work with energy with, and without being tired or exhausted or hungry? Or do you think that he should sort of not eat and not sleep and he should keep on doing his work? And also, I wanted to ask you, um, also, uh, how do you think that men felt when there was only one chance of firing, right? And Potters had no control over this, right? Um, and do, if you were a man, would you have been nervous? And I also wanted to ask you about, um, about the vases. Do you think that they are gonna come out good or do you just have a bad feeling that no, they are not gonna come out good. But anyway, we now learn why Crayman did not go to the temple. Do you think that it, do you think that Crayman should have gone to the temple or not anyway? And also, um, it is um, he said Crayman said oh, the reason he was it was. Foolish, right? And it was that he saw a fox, right? And I'm, this is actually um, a quote from the book, okay? Um, yes, it is this. So, it was dusk, and I was still a good distance away. Suddenly, a fox appeared before me. It stood there, right in the middle of the path, grinning with all its teeth shining white, licking its lips, its eyes glowing, its broad tail swishing back and forth slowly, back and forth. So, um, and we learned that in Korean culture, foxes are um, a little, not like, they are not exactly, um, people aren't afraid exactly, but still, um, a little, not afraid, but you know, you you know what I mean, right? So um, so I'm sort of afraid, right? Um, uh, anyway, do you think that they should be afraid of foxes or not? And also, uh, do you think that foxes actually possess evil magic? Oh, and also, I wanted to say there was something about like how a fox could lure a man to his doom, right? Um, tricking it to go into his den. But there actually is a, another legend that I thought was really interesting. So, um, I'm just gonna tell you this legend really quickly. Well, it's not really a legend. It's actually just a about a character sort of legend. But anyway, there were these foxes, right? But these foxes, they could transform themselves in, they could transform themselves into a lot of things, but mainly women. But the problem was 
they had to keep their tails, right? So they had to hide the tails, and what they did was they lured the men to their deaths. Yeah. And um, for people who do not like gross things, um, well, this probably might not be the best thing to you, but, um, and so you can just skip about the next five, six, I don't know, seconds, okay? The, the, okay, so actually maybe 10 seconds, I'm not very sure. But just as, how, as much as you think is safe if you do not like this answer. Uh, but if you do, then it's just that, then the woman, or the fox in disguise, ate the man's liver or heart. So, Frank, uh, I, I just think that that's not really realistic because foxes are great animals. Uh, I don't know how this came to be this legend, but um, you shouldn't be really afraid of foxes. First of all, the only reason they would attack you, and I assure you, there's a 99.99% .99 chance they won't even go near you, um, is because they are hungry, and hungry isn't because of militia, being malicious, it's just that they are hungry, right? Wildlife, ha nature has a motto, eat or be eaten. And so, um, uh, yeah, but anyway, so I, uh, it's not necessarily that the foxes are evil, right? Anyway, let's keep on going. So, um, Crane, do you think that Crane Man was foolish at that moment? And also, um, I also wanted to ask you about Min's wife, right? Min's wife was, like, she wasn't angry at Trier, but she was a little grave. Uh-oh. And we learn later that the pottery, oh, man. They were, they had this brownish tint. Oh. How do you think that Min felt about this? And how do you think that Trier felt about this? And also, how do you think that Min's wife felt about this? Oh, oh man. And there's no time left. What do you think is gonna happen now? Okay, let's keep on going, right? So, Min began to work on those vases, but he didn't have any time. And Kang had been chosen for a commission. How do you think that um, Tree Ear, Min, and Min's wife felt about this? And also, um, do you think that Kang deserved to be um, this, um, this, oh, uh, this honor, and also, do you, th but did you, w were you happy that the, um, emissary said that maybe if Min actually made some really good work and transported to Songdo, then maybe he would be the, um, he could become, a, a com like, he could, he would be chosen for commission. Also, um, and also, um, but then, uh, but then, Min says that no, he can't because he was an old man, right? And Trier is like, I'm going to go to Songdo then for Min. Do you think that this was a good idea? And also, um, also, do you think that if Trier goes, do you think that he's gonna survive? And then Min's wife comes, right? And Min's wife asks to call her Ajima, right? Okay, so, um, but anyway, how do you think that Min's wife felt about what Trier was doing? Uh, and do you think that Trier began to regret that he had even said that? And then, um, like I said, um, yeah, but then, of course, like, so Min's wife says to call Trier Ajima, right? Actually, um, before I continue, um, I just wanted to ask you, how do you think that Trier felt about this? Um, and do you think that if you have been Trier, you would also get um, emotional? And also, um, Crane Man uh, Journey, right? Um, uh, also, uh, there's a lot of dangers uh, for um, Trier, right? Are you, uh, do you think that Trier now, I mean, 
Do you think that cheaters should just say no to men because of all this? And do you think, and again, do you think the cheaters are gonna survive all these um, dangers? And I also want, and so, um, Remember, there are robbers, wild animals, rock slides. Robbers are a big problem back then, and also wild animals. You might just think, hey, there's like squirrels and stuff, but actually, in Korea, there are actually wild tigers, leopards, bears, porcupines, I mean, or hedgehogs, but anyway, even hedgehogs are dangerous, you know. And um, the quills, they hurt. And also, snakes, which I'm almost 100% sure are venomous. This is gonna be dangerous, right? And also, uh, I also wanted to ask you, Min, so, and then, um, Trier asked, Trier asked Min if he could, if if Min could teach him how to make a pot, and Min said no. He said this: "You are not my son." <sighs> wow. How do you think that Trier felt about this? How do you think that Min felt about this? Could you compare Min to something else, a volcano, maybe someone from Star Wars, like Anakin who turned into Darth Vader, or well, maybe not that. Uh, Min wasn't that evil, but. Sort of, yeah, you get the point, right? Uh, and also, um, uh, do you think that this was the right thing for Min to do? Anyway, why do you think that Min doesn't want to teach Trier just because he's not his son? Anyway, okay, so we're in sort of, uh, um, you know, in sort of a problem here, right? So, Keep on reading, okay, guys. Uh, I just wanted to ask you what was your favorite part, and then what was and in, in these chapters, and then your favorite part um, from the whole book so far. And also, I wanted to ask you, what do you predict is gonna happen next? Who's your favorite character, and who's your least favorite character? Finally, um, how do you like the book so far? But anyway, I hope that you had a great time with me and A Single Sharp by Linda Supart. This is an amazing book and I hope that you really enjoyed this book again. So have a great rest of your day or night and well, keep on reading this book and other books too. Books are just amazing, okay guys? Bye.